because you too fits with it too fits. <laughs> Hello KGTV Child Soldier Army, how you doing? Uh, back again with another Man Child review And today, uh, I've got a really weird one for you It's not nostalgic, it's not retired, it's sealed in the box I guess But uh, as you can guess by the title of this video and the obnoxious thumbnail YouTube have sent me, from what they called in the email, a brick built uh, YouTube play button which is probably the closest I'm ever going to get to an actual play button, so I'm grateful for that. But uh, I've just never heard of this before. Uh, apparently the email told me there's only about 2,000 of these in existence, and it was first come, first serve. And I thought this would make uh, a pretty bizarre man-child review. You know, I, I know it breaks the rules a little bit, it's not retired. It's, uh, it's brand new, I'm probably one of the first people to ever get it by the time I'm recording this, because it just showed up in the post when I uh, came home there. Uh... No really much of a flashy box, I can't really uh, waste about a minute of the runtime talking about the box. So I might as well just crack it open, because if you can hear that, there is Lego or bricks or Mega Blocks, whatever you want to call them. There is uh, something in there, so let's, uh, let's see what this is. Okay, yeah, that's definitely bricks, uh, red and white, yeah. Oh, okay, uh... All right, yeah, this is kind of what I was expecting. Uh, well, this is just Lego. I hope I don't get uh, my channel deleted for saying that for uh, legal reasons. Yeah, this was part of the YouTube High Five program, which was uh, a couple emails they sent. I, I checked if other people, other people with the YouTube, who are like probably way bigger than me, and uh, get a lot more views than me, and they they didn't get this. So I don't know um, if someone's got like a personal uh, favoritism at YouTube for me. Which uh, thank you, thank you for. <laughs> Messing up the system for me because uh, let's be real, uh, not to not to jerk myself off, not to pat myself in the back. Yeah, I put a lot of effort into these videos, so it's nice to know that uh, there's a little bit of something uh, in the reward, if that makes sense. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, numbered bags again, like Lego. Uh, I don't know if this is a kind of promotional campaign or I I, I really don't know. There's not much information about this. You try and look it up, and there's like no one else talking about it. Maybe. Maybe, like, I'm the only one who's part of this campaign, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know if uh, I'll get much more to say or I should just build this. This is such a bizarre build, man. I don't even know, like, I've knocked the pieces off. I don't even know if I've built this right, because the logo looks a bit scuffed. The instructions are are kind of weird, the way they, they flow. I don't know. Um, we keep going with this. Oh god, uh, that was a really bizarre build. Uh, obviously, it turns out looking pretty nice, you know, with all these rounded edges and everything. I, I don't. I wonder who designed this. <laughs> it's genuinely, because uh, this is. Uh, this is something, it goes against a few of the kind of Lego norms, because there's even a bit, uh, if I can find it, where you have to flip uh, these two tiles against each other and then combine them with the uh, the side paneling here. And I've got a bunch of like spare bits that uh, you wouldn't usually expect in a Lego set, so I don't know if I've missed a step, because those instructions were kind of confusing at times, honestly. It doesn't help that I'm filming this and everything, you know, I'm no, uh, no exactly in my comfort zone, but it's kind of weird, uh, not like you'd expect many of kind of yet Lego or uh, Mega Blocks of Romano, it's just uh, the cover and then the build and that's it, there's nothing at the end, there's no design or anything, it's kind of just that, and you're, you're, uh, you're left with this, if it'll focus, which, uh, it's a wee small kind of, you know, I don't know what to say, it's the YouTube play button, uh, kind of falling apart a little bit because you know the the build quality isn't as good as lego uh because i guess um youtube is also a billion dollar company but i guess they don't have that uh oil investment like lego does uh it's compact i wonder yeah it survives getting dropped which would surprise me because this thing this thing would not want to uh, stay together when i was building it there <laughs> but uh i i wonder if this is um 
a YouTube first because I don't know if anyone else would uh, make a video building this or doing like a little review in it. I don't know. Um, if someone else has built this, please genuinely tell me or like get me in contact with them because I've heard no one else talk about this uh, YouTube high five thing. Uh, <clears throat> I just want to know I'm not the only one. I would like to say thank you to whoever uh, designed this. Uh, thank you to whoever sent it out. Because despite all my bitching, it's a nice wee gesture for free. Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I'm kind of baffled, but also very grateful. That's a weird kind of combo. I don't know what to say. I don't want to be too negative because uh, it is just a wee YouTube Lego play button. Despite my confusion and uh, building it wrong and everything. But, uh, aye. This is the closest I will ever get to a YouTube play button. So I'm grateful for that. This is a nice wee kind of stand in. I guess it's a little bit more personal because, you know, with my whole kind of thing, and there's only 2,000 out there, so I can brag about that. Um, I will sell this to someone for 8,000 grand. I don't know, honestly, it kind of weirds me out because, uh, with this whole YouTube thing, I kind of treat it cynically. I'm always kind of going off in some kind of comment or tangent. I don't really t treat it too seriously. And despite, uh, again, all the bitching I've done about this, yeah, this is, you know, I, don't, I keep repeating myself, a nice wee gesture. And it's weird because uh, I do put a lot of effort into these videos. Not these videos, these are kind of more relaxed, but like my kind of cartoons, my my uh, my stuff, my series, whatever you want to call it. I put a lot of effort into that. And it's it's almost kind of like uh, I've been caught off guard by uh, some like kind of mainstream attention to it, if that makes sense. I don't know if you would even call it mainstream attention, corporate attention, I don't know. I don't know if I was picked out by an algorithm or someone liked my stuff enough to send this to me. But, uh, it, it puts me through a loop, genuinely. And I, I, I'm kind of at a loss for words, more so than I usually am in these videos. Because, again, you know, treading that line of uh, being honest, but also not being egotistical. I do put a lot of effort into these animations. I do, you know, I put a lot of effort into the writing, the planning out, the, uh, the whole kind of unraveling of the story, the visuals, the uh, the kind of experimentation. I do a lot, a lot more than them, I guess, other competitors, if you want to call it that, in the field. Uh, and I can say I have this and they don't, which isn't too much of a brag, because it is just a funny wee uh, kind of novelty brick uh, YouTube play button. But I guess this is, uh, this is just another kind of motivator, because I have the people who cheer me on. Which I'm very grateful for. I have uh, my own kind of skills and the reward gained from getting better and better in my stuff. And I just have this little uh, mysterious benefactor who's given me this. So I, I guess that's put me in uh, a better mood. Less of a doomer now when it comes to YouTube. Uh, so I guess the takeaway from this is that uh, thank you. You know, I, I may be bitching moaning, I may be uh, complaining and farting. But it's nice to get these wee things. Uh, even if I didn't get this, I, I know I would still be grateful at the end of the day and that uh, all my complaints would just fade away into noise and just be forgotten about. But this uh, this helps. I keep cutting up my dialogue because I, I just I forget what I mean to say in the middle of a sentence. I kind of just have to pause and think because this means something. It really does. And I'm, I'm waffling, I'm rambling. But I think that's just because I've been caught off guard and I'm getting a genuine kind of I guess you'd say emotional reaction from this. I'm just, uh, I'm happy. And <laughs> I think a cynical fuck like me is taking a minute to process that happiness, if that makes sense. Uh, aye. Despite how much I can point, uh, there is nothing else like YouTube out there. You know, uh, Soul with the platform or Google's uh, giant monolithic corporate policies, uh, Whichever method you think explains why YouTube is so big, or maybe both, probably. I'm grateful to be part of the scene, to get my stuff out there in this uh, kind of crazy new technological era that's always evolving. And I hope I keep at it, and I hope I keep doing good for you. Right? Cheers. Bye-bye.